O Jesus, our adorable Savior, we kneel before you, bow down at your feet, begging your mercy for ourselves and for the souls of all the faithful departed. Apply to us the infinite merits of your compassion on which we are now about to meditate. Grant that while we trace this path of sigh and tears, our hearts may be touched with contrition and repentance, that we may be ready to embrace with joy all crosses and sufferings and humiliations of this our life and pilgrimage. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Leaving the house of Caiaphas, where he has been blasphemed, and the house of Herod, where he had been mocked, Jesus is dragged before Pilate his back torn with scourges, his head crowned with thorns. And he, who on the last day will judge the living and the dead, is himself condemned to a disgraceful death. Let us pray. It was for us that you suffered O blessed Jesus, it was for our sins that you were condemned to die. O grant that we may detest them from the bottom of our hearts, and by this repentance obtain your mercy and pardon. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy, Have mercy on, on us. us. The second station, Jesus is laden with the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because, because by, by your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. world. A heavy cross is laid upon the bruised shoulders of Jesus. He receives it with meekness, nay, with a secret joy for it is the instrument with which he is to redeem the world. Let us pray. O Jesus, grant us by virtue of your cross to embrace it with meekness and cheerfulness submission, the difficulties of our state, and to be ever ready to take up our cross and follow you. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us.
the third station, Jesus falls the first time under the weight of the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your holy, holy cross, you, you have redeemed the world. Bowed down under the weight of the cross, Jesus slowly sets forth on the way to Calvary. Amidst the mockeriness and insults of the crowd, his agony in the garden has exhausted his body. He is so with blows and wounds, his strength fails him. He falls to the ground under the cross. Let us pray. O Jesus, who for our sins did bear the heavy burden of the cross and fell under its weight, may the thought of your sufferings make us watchful ourselves and save us from any grievous fall into sin. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The fourth station, Jesus meets his most holy mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, cross you, have you have redeemed the world. Still burdened with his cross and wounded yet more by his fall, Jesus proceeds on his way. He is met by his mother. What a meaning must this have been? What a sword of anguish must have pierced that mother's heart? What must have been the compassion of that son for his mo holy mother. Let us pray. O Jesus, by the compassion which you fell for your mother, have compassion on us and give us a share in your intercession. O Mary, most affectionate mother, intercede for us that through the sufferings of your son, we may be delivered from the wrath to come. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The fifth station, Jesus is helped by Simon of Cyrene to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As the strength of Jesus fails, and he is unable to proceed, the executioners seize and compel Simon of Cyrene to carry his cross. The virtue of that cross changed Simon's heart, and from a compulsory task, it became a privilege and a joy. Let us pray. O oh Lord Jesus, may it be our privilege also to bear your cross. May we glory in nothing else. By it, may the world be crucified to us and we to the world. May we never shrink from sufferings, but rather rejoice if we should be counted worthy to suffer for your name's sake. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on, on us. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As Jesus proceeds along the way, covered with sweat of death, a woman, moved with compassion, makes her way through the crowd and wipes his face with a handkerchief. As a reward of her piety, the impression of his sacred countenance is miraculously imprinted upon the handkerchief. Let us pray. O oh Jesus, may the contemplation of your sufferings move us to the deepest compassion, make us hate our sins, and kindle in our hearts more fervent love of you. May your image be graven in our minds until we are transformed into your likeness. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on, on us. us. The seventh station, Jesus falls beneath the cross the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because, because by, by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. The pain of his wounds and the loss of blood increasing at every step of his way. Again, his strength fails him, and Jesus falls to the ground a second time. Let us pray. O oh Jesus, who fell a second time beneath the load of our sins and of your sufferings for our sins, how often have we grieved you by our repeated falls into sin? Oh, may we rather die than ever offend you again. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us.
the eighth station, Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. At the sight of the sufferings of Jesus, some holy women in the crowd were so touched with sympathy that they openly bewailed and lamented him. Jesus, knowing the things that would befall Jerusalem because of its rejection to him, turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus, we mourn and will mourn both for you and for, your, for ourselves, for your sufferings and for our sins which caused them. O oh, teach us to mourn that we may be comforted and may escape those dreadful judgments which are prepared for all who shall reject or neglect you in this life. Have mercy on us, O oh Lord. Have mercy on us. The ninth station, Jesus falls beneath his cross the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus had now arrived almost at the summit of Calvary. But before he reached the spot where he was to be crucified, his strength fails him and he falls the third time, to be again dragged up and goaded onward by the brutal soldiery. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus, you entreat, we entreat you by the merits of this, your third most painful fall, to pardon our frequent relapses and our long continuance in sin. And may the thought of these your sufferings make us hate our sins more and more. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy, Have mercy on, on, us. on us. The 10th station. Jesus is stripped off his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Arrived at last at the place of sacrifice, they prepare to crucify him. His garments are torn from his bleeding body. And he, the holy of holies, stands exposed to the vulgar gaze of the rude and scoffing multitude. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus, you endured this shame for our most shameful deeds. Strip us, we beseech you, of all false shame, conceit, and pride, and make us so to humble ourselves voluntarily in this life that we may escape everlasting ignominy in the world to come. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy, mercy on, on us. us. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. The cross is laid upon the ground, and Jesus is stretched upon his bed of death. At one of the same time, he offers his bruised limbs to his heavenly Father on behalf of sinful man and his fierce executioners to be nailed by them to the ignominious tree. The blows are struck, the blood gushes forth. 
Let us pray. O Jesus, nailed to the cross, fasten to it our hearts also, that they may be united to you until death shall strike us with its fatal blow, and with our last breath we shall yield up our souls to you. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. For three hours, Jesus has hung upon his transfixed hands. His blood has run in streams down his body and bed bedewed the ground. And in the midst of excruciating sufferings, he has pardoned his murderers, promised the bliss of paradise to the good thief, and committed his blessed mother and beloved, and beloved disciple to each other's care. All is now consummated, and meekly bowing down his head, he gives up his spirit. Let us pray. O oh Jesus, we devoutly embrace that honored cross whereon you loved us even unto death. In that death, we place all our confidence. Henceforth, let us live only for you, and in dying for you, let us die loving you and in your sacred arms. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your holy, holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. The multitudes have left the heights of Calvary, and none remain save the beloved disciple and the holy woman, who at the foot of the cross are striving to bring consolation to Christ's afflicted mother. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus take down the body of her divine son from the cross and lay it in her arms. Let us pray. O oh, you whose grief was boundless as an unfathomable ocean, Mary, Mother of God, grant us a share in your most holy sorrow for the sufferings of your son and have compassion on our infirmities. Accept us as your children with a beloved disciple. Show yourself a mother to us, and may he, through you, receive our prayer, who for us vouchsafed to be your son. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The 
the 14th station, Jesus is laid in the sepulcher. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because Cross by a holy, holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. The body of our dearly beloved son is taken from his mother and laid by the disciples in the tomb. The tomb is closed and in it the lifeless body remains until the hour of its glorious resurrection. Let us pray. We too, O God, are ready to go down into the grave whenever it shall please you, in whatsoever manner it shall please you, and wheresoever it shall please you. Let your just decrees be fulfilled. Let our sinful bodies return to the dust from which they came. But you, in our great mercy, receive our immortal souls. And when our bodies shall have risen again, place them likewise in your kingdom, that we may love and praise you forever and ever. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy, have mercy on, on us. us. Concluding prayer, Christ was made for us obedient unto death, even to the death on the cross. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, we pray to you, upon this family, for which our Lord Jesus Christ did not refuse to be delivered into the hands of wicked men and to endure the torments of the cross who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray now for the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and shall be world without end. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down upon us and remain with us forever.